Today we're here to review chapter 7, 7.1 to 7.3. I've got three questions lined up for you, each with multiple parts. So what I'm going to do is show you each question. I'll let that run for a few seconds. You're going to want to hit pause until you work out your answer and then replay the video and uh, start explaining each of the answers and how I went through everything. So here we go with the first question. This is an AP question from the 2006 test. Go ahead and answer parts A, B, and C, and then when you're ready, replay the video. So for part A, what we're trying to do is find the area of R. The area of R is gonna come from the top curve minus the bottom curve, and then we're gonna go ahead and integrate that. First, I have to figure out where these two curves intersect each other. I do that by setting the ln of x equal to x minus two, and I get the two following points. And now I'm simply just gonna integrate the top curve minus the bottom curve, and I'm gonna go ahead and do all that on the calculator. Top curve being ln x minus the bottom curve x minus two. Be careful with your parentheses here, and type everything into the calculator once you get your equation set up. Here's your answer to part B. When I'm rotating this solid about the horizontal line y equals three, I need to acknowledge that I'm gonna have thin washers that are in the, in the x direction. If they're in the x direction, they're gonna be stacked up from left to right, and then I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and use dx. So here's a little version of a picture that what your three-dimensional volume solid would look like. You're gonna have washers, like I said, where you have a big radius and a small radius. The big radius is the distance from the top curve down to the dotted line. The small radius is the distance from the line down to the dotted line. To find the area of the shaded part of the circle, I wanna do area of pi r squared of big R minus area of little r squared. Plugging in both functions. Integrate from the same starting and stopping points that I found in part A. You'll get your answer of 34.199. You can factor the pi out here if you wanted to, and then take the integral and multiply by pi, or you can just leave pi there when you type this into y1 on your calculator. Question C is essentially asking the same thing, except I'm rotating in a different direction. Now I'm rotating in the Y direction. That's gonna put my washers stacked from top to bottom. I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and use DY. Here's a picture of what the volume would look like. Again, I have a big R and a small R. The big radius is the distance from right to left from the line, X minus two over to zero, and the small r is from the curve ln of x back to y equals zero. The only difference with this one is if I'm stacking them from top to bottom, I want everything to be in terms of y. So I'm going to rewrite y equals ln x into exponential form e to the y equals x. I'm going to rewrite y equals x minus two into y plus two equals x. And now I have both of my radii in terms of y. e to the y is my small radius from left to right. Big R, y plus two. The area is still big pi r squared minus little r squared. And the last thing you need to do now is readjust. Instead of these starting and stopping points being what they were in parts A and B, I need to have them in terms of y. So I'm gonna set e to the y equal to y plus two on my calculator, and I'm gonna find the intersections, and you get the green numbers you see here. This one says write but do not solve, so I didn't waste any time typing in to get the answer. I just set up the equation, integrated it, and left it alone. So that's your part, your answers to part A, B, and C. Here's the next question. This is from the 2008 form B, question one. Again, three parts, similar concepts. So I'll give you a second to go ahead and write these down and work it out. Don't spend more than 15 minutes on this question. 
when you think you're finished with parts A, B, or C, or you get to a point where you don't know what to do next, go ahead and repause the video to see your answers. Here's your answer to part A. I'm trying to find the area of region R, which is highlighted now in yellow. The first thing you need to do is find out where the graphs intersect. You can see it intersects down here at 0, 0, and then I can set the curves equal to find out the x and y values. So it intersects at a x value of 0 to 9, or it intersects at y values of 0 to 3. What's interesting about this question is you can do it one of two ways. You can integrate the top curve minus the bottom curve, which is what I did here in orange. Root x is the top curve, x over 3 is the bottom curve. From 0 to 9, the limits of integration are in terms of x, or you can actually go left to right. In either case, you should get the same answer. Here's your answer to part B. This time when I rotate the solid about the vertical line, which you see here in gray, I'm gonna get the following picture. I'm rotating around the line y equals y, and I'm gonna have thin washers in the y direction. This tells me I need to use dy. This also lets me know that my all of my equations must be in terms of y. So up here at the top, instead of writing y equals root x, I squared both sides and I have x equals y squared. The y squared is the function I'm gonna use. Over here, I have y equals x over 3. I can cross multiply 3y equals x, and now I have it in terms of 3y. I have a large radius and a small radius again. My large radius is the distance from right to left, from the green line to the dotted line. The green line is 3y, and then I'm going to subtract a negative 1. 3y minus a minus 1 gives me 3y plus 1. My small radius is from the pink function to the gray line. The pink function is y squared minus a negative one again is y squared plus one. Pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. Go ahead and plug those into the integral. Find your lower and upper limits of integration, zero and three. So I started integrating my circles at zero and I went up to a height of three by setting the equations equal to each other. And you'll get your final answer you see here in light blue. Here's your answer for part C. This time I'm not rotating and creating a solid. I'm telling you in part C that the cross sections are squares. And these are gonna be squares that are perpendicular to the y-axis, kind of like this. So to find the area of the square, it would be base times height. The base or the height of the square is the distance in between the two curves. To find the distance in between the two curves, I do top curve minus the bottom curve. Or I would do right curve minus the left curve. Since these are perpendicular to the y, that means they're coming out at me flat. So I have to do the green 3y minus the pink y squared, which is right minus left. Area of a square in pink, Integrate the area of a square from 0 to 3, you get your answer of 8.1. And here's your last question. This wasn't an AP question. I found this one somewhere else, I think in your textbook perhaps. So I want you to go ahead and take these three regions in red, blue, and green. In part A, I want you to rotate them about the line x equals 1. Part B, about the line x equals 2. At this point, you're going to want to go ahead and hit pause and maybe take five or six minutes to answer this question. Restart the video to see your answer. So here's your answer to part A. First thing I did was try to come up with a picture of what was going on. I took my red, green, and blue lines. That's all the highlighted yellow. And that's what I'm going to rotate around the green line x equals 1. 
This is going to make a cone. This is not going to be a washer problem. This time I just have circular cross sections with no holes in the middle. So I have to find the area of a circle, integrate that area of a circle, and then I'll be finished. What I'm looking for is the radius of that circle. The radius is the distance in between, in light blue, the green and the red curves. If the green curve is at one, subtract the red curve, y, minus, y over two. Now the first thing I had to do before I did that was realize if I was rotating in the y direction, I'm gonna be using dy. So I came up to my red equation, y equals two x, and I rewrote it, x equals y over two. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Plug in this light blue for my big radius. Go ahead and integrate from zero to two. This is from top to bottom. And then you'll have your answer of two thirds pi. Question B is similar in the fact that I am rotating. I have to figure out what the cross sections are. This time there's gonna be a gap. That's gonna give me some thin washers in the Y direction. Here's your picture. This time this white void in the middle is creating the hole in the washer. I'm gonna have a large radius, outside radius, and a small inside radius. Again, if I'm going around in a Y direction, that tells me DY because I'm stacking everything top to bottom. So I have to first find the two radii. The big radii would be the distance from the red to the dotted line. I go right minus left to find that distance. The gray dotted line is the line y equals two. So two minus the red curve, y over two. The inside radius from right to left, the gray in right, and the gray on the right is two minus the vertical line in green, two minus one. Plug these into your pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. Integrate and you'll have your answer. These are thin washers again stacked top to bottom and I tried to draw this here with a little bit more of a oval look so you can kind of see how they were stacked vertically. And that's pretty much it right there. Now to be honest this was more of a review of 7.3. Some of those concepts were touched on in 7.2, and actually I didn't get to any of the velocity questions from 7.1. So without spending too much time here in a review, you're gonna to wanna to need to go back and review all those things on your own. These are mainly, again, just volumes from rotations or area in between two curves. 7.1 wasn't covered too much here, and that's all of the velocity versus acceleration versus position questions. Hope you found this helpful. Take it easy.